everybody. Uh, Tom with uh, the Outdoor Cook Store dot com. Uh, you know, hey, listen, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out, uh, checking us out. Uh, um, and um, you know, special thanks to all our uh, subscribers, both our uh, YouTube subscribers and our uh, newsletter subscribers. Um, and incidentally, if you haven't uh, signed up for our newsletter, uh, be sure to do that. Free newsletter comes out uh, twice a month, sometimes three times, and um, we run. Uh, product specials at our main store, the theoutdoorcookstore.com, uh, for all of our newsletter subscribers. So if you haven't signed up, be sure to do so today, either at our uh, main site or at our uh, blog, the theoutdoorcooks.com. So anyway, once again, thanks. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is uh, going to do a little cast iron cooking on uh, the Bayou Classic dual burner patio stove. And uh, thought we'd do a little uh, fried chicken. Now, uh, first of all, the, the, the patio stove, uh, what you get with this, um, you got two six-inch cast iron fry burners, uh, 55,000 BTUs each. Now, this thing will, uh, uh, it's a very versatile machine. It's, uh, it has the extra, uh, you know, uh, legs to, to lengthen. Um, but I don't know if, if you've uh, been following the blog. Uh, just not, not too long ago, I did a video where we went crabbing, and I used this with the legs off uh, to boil crab in one and, and the other one to uh, simmer some uh, uh, seafood stock. So, so this will boil up water real fast. Uh, so for crabbing, it'll, you know, it'll heat up uh, some, some oil for uh, uh, your... Um, Frying turkeys, or if you're a homebrew guy, this is a great little stove. I mean, at 55,000 BTUs, these things will boil up water, you know, three to ten gallons, pretty darn quick. You need to put the legs on and use it like we're using today um, for a, uh, you know, a camp stove. Um, the one thing you have to be aware of, though, is uh, these burners are hot, so you don't need a whole lot to uh, to, to heat up your cast iron uh, pans for. Uh, for uh, frying up some uh, chicken. So uh, let me go ahead and we'll show you how this gets light, lights up. What I'll do is first get this opened up and turned on. Okay, right here is the um, air shutter valve. What you want to do for lighting it is to close that down uh, a bit. That's going to allow you a, a mostly gas mixture. Makes it easier to light. Put on a little fuel. And there we go. Now, just to show you, the seal is cranked up pretty good. And if I close that down, or open it up, I should say, so it's most more air, that orange flame goes away, and that's a hot fire, folks. But for this operation, we don't need it anywhere near that. But that, that gets hot. That gets real hot. This is a great little stove. Okay. We light it up again for... That's pretty hot. Yeah, you don't need a lot, so... Anyway, I'll get this one started. We will uh, warm up these pots, get our oil going, and then we'll be back and do some uh, fried chicken. Okay, the oil's, getting, uh, oil's getting hot enough. Uh, put about a half inch of oil in each one. What I'm going to use, I got a three quart um, covered skillet, Bayou Classic, and then a Bayou Classic cast iron Dutch oven. I uh, could use just a regular skillet. I like these. Uh, number one, because I like to have the covers on. Um, I think it cooks the, the chicken more thorough and, and you know, both sides of the chicken. Uh, and the other reason, is if you're using it inside, the high walls and the lid is just going to really help you with that splatter effect. So, uh, what I did with the chicken was uh, I just have some, just cleaned it. I've got legs and thighs here. I just cleaned it. Um, with water, and then patted it dry, uh, and then just flour with pepper, paprika, and some uh, uh, poultry seasoning. 
And uh, that's the way I like it. Simple, but boy, is it good. Now, we put these in. Let them boil, let them, let them cook about 10 minutes a side. You can hear that going. I barely have this gas on. So these things, like I said, these burners are very, very hot. One more in there. Cover that up. Actually, I'll turn that down just a hair in a second here. But that's pretty hot. I'm going to get this guy in over here. Now, you don't want to put in too many pieces. Uh, you want the oil to wrap around. You don't want to overload your uh, your container. So, put me in there, five in the other. Turn these down just a hair because they are pretty hot. Open that up. It'll cool that flame down some. And I'll do it. And we'll be back. Okay, it's been just about 10 minutes, a little less. About, uh, Keep your hands golden brown. You gotta be careful. Just a little, little boat right there. Try to turn that down. So you just have to be careful not to get it too hot. If that's what's good about it, half inch of oil. That's gonna be pretty darn good. Pretty freaking good. Okay, these are done. They look good. And drain off a little. I've got one more small batch to cook. These look good. Once again, that's just uh, some, uh, I just put flour on these. I leave the skin on. Uh, you can do it skinless, you can do breast, whatever you like, but I, I like to do it. I just put flour on it with a little and, and some seasoning and uh, fry them up. That is the way I like them. Give these a minute to cool and uh, we'll bite into them in a minute. So we'll be right back. Okay, I put my one last batch in there. It's still pretty hot. Let's try this one real cooler. See how she tastes. That is really freaking good. Nice crispy the outside, moist in the inside. Wow, that's good. It looks like uh, the one thing you have to worry about is making sure you cook it thoroughly all the way to the bone, and so you got to really watch your temperature, not get it too high, but you don't want it too low either. So you just have to get to know your stove. Wow. Mm. That's really good. That's really freaking good. So, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Check us out at the outdoor cook store. Um, you can get uh, cast iron cookware. Your stove there, and uh, thanks for watching.